place to go now. The moon. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a spaceship. Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. <laughs> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. Wow. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And you could take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... What Wait, the hell? What's that? Look! Here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Damn it. Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. All right. The gizmo duck suit. Ah, oh, this music! I know I to be number one by back and boom. I know I keep saying it, but God, I mean. Just, just for, like my childhood and shit. Oh, I've just remember, like, man. Those are some big ass metal suits. Looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Oh, also looks well. like. <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Uh. Okay. Again, <laughs> the nostalgia, you know. Oh shit! Last me, bagpipes. A piece of Gizmo Duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Maybe you do. Nope. Figure the way out to open the door. from there and stop embarrassing yourself mr. McDuck thank goodness you're here I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones bah yeah. they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many now help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit 
You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Wow. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. <laughs> you broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no, you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get <laughs> us out of this. Oh. Huh. We mice. Oh. Gravity system restored. Ow. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. <laughs> he walks like such a goofus. Oh, damn it. Ow. Hey, enough of that. This just looks... Yeah, that, that looked like it was something there. The aliens look so mad. Why do they look so mad? This is a wee bit. Why are there so much rocks on a spaceship? Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. No. Only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. I remember this one being one of the most difficult levels. If I, I mean, all of the levels in DuckTales were difficult. At least as far as I remember. I remember I didn't like this one because we had to collect all of... Gizmoduck's suit. Hey, damn it. Oh, you ass. Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. No. You know, just one more part to find, and I can get off this flying monstrosity. I think this is the way I didn't go. How do you like that? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, hi. One billion one. One billion three. Look at the size of this diamond. Yes. Whew. Needed that. Oh, Three. 
Ha ha! Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? I wanted to see what the vacuum of space would do to my pie crust, Mr. McDuck. What did it do? You're worth your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Of course, but I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Yes. Half a mil. This thing go up. Okay, okay. I've never seen a gem like this before. Oh, no, you don't. Aha! Gizmo Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? <laughs> now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. I didn't get to be number one by back and doom. We're in luck! I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh, hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skype, I'm useless. <laughs> I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh? They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. <laughs> oh well, back under the seat it goes. Two million dollar bill. Do they make them that high? He's, he's shooting missiles and shit. I don't remember if he was this helpful when he the original, but hell yes! <laughs> it followed this thing to death. That's more disorienting than anything. Hey! This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder! Here we go. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir! Good work, Gizmo Duck. No? Oh, shit. Ah! Flint hat Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. 
I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle boys. <laughs> bah! Alright! Time to kick some beagle butt. Screws for someone who like doesn't thinks he needs help kicking Beagle butt. Most definitely enjoys it. Mirth and be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Okay. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Get off the crack! Woo! Woo hoo! How much life does this little asshole have? Oh shit. Woo! Not today, Satan. Oh, oh, that was close. Got him. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's gonna keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's gonna make me. <laughs> Got it. Yeah.